teaching any lessons. And, uh, and yeah, so I, I really, uh, yeah, I, love, I might go fishing Sunday here if I Sweet. can. Nice. If I can swing it before I go back home. <laughs> uh, I guess we gotta ask about uh, COVID since we are yeah, in yeah, COVID yeah. times. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no coughing. <laughs> It's been super hard on the restaurant industry. So, have you had to pivot much? Are you guys doing lots of takeout? Or? So, Chris that just walked in, he's yeah. like, he's the big boss at the restaurant. So, you ask, have you guys pivoted on anything? <laughs> and, and I just heard like <gasps> from the corner. Yeah. I mean, it's been. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna speak on his behalf because he's <laughs> he's really the one that like runs the day to day there. But but you know, wh when COVID hit. Uh, I remember I was, I got hired by the Quebec government to go to London, England, to do an event for Tourism Quebec. And it was just starting. Mm -hmm. We were starting to hear, oh, COVID, nah, nah, nah. and I'm in London and I'm, I'm coming back and I'm doing London, Toronto, Montreal. And like, as I get to the airport, I'm starting to see people with masks. Like I'd never seen that before, yeah. but like outside of Asia, you know, airports in Asia, they've been wearing masks forever because they're smart. And they, they know that like yeah. out of respect, we're sick, we're going to put a mask. And like, I kind of always thought it was weird, but cool in the same time. Now, what we know about masks, we're yeah. like, man, we should have been doing the same thing for Absolutely. so many years, you know? But, but I started getting the vibe. I got to Toronto. They're like, you're, I was doing an event there and they're like, it might be canceled. You know, we might have to cancel. The day I left Toronto, massive shutdown, everything. Yeah. And and at the restaurant, we were still kind of going. Right. Everybody was like, you know, like <laughs> everybody's looking at each other like, what, what are we doing? You know, and, uh, and then we kind of decided we were one of the first to say like, you know what, we're going to shut it down. Uh, not because we were smarter than anybody or we just felt like, you know, let's be ahead of the curve. Right. And then we reopened in two weeks. Nothing that's else, you know said, what I mean? Yeah, like that was really our, our mind frame. We're like, keep everybody safe, make sure we're okay. You know, <clears throat> and uh, we were closed for a year. Yeah. I think we closed for eight months. We closed for eight months. Uh, we were lucky. Our landlord uh, was amazing. Right. Uh, he really hooked it up, and so we, we were we weren't really struggling. So those those eight months were a mix of like, you know, free time, homeschooling with the kids. Like, I kind of forgot about it now, but in the thick of it, it was rough. Like being with my kids. Like I know they're my kids, but being with them 24/7, uh, being the school teacher, the disciplinarian, the chef, the like at home, like I was just, you know, nonstop. So yeah. at one point I'm just like, I don't know what to do anymore. Like, I don't know how can I entertain these guys? Like, you know, it was just, it was just a lot. Yeah. And, <clears throat> but we pulled through. And then when we got the, the go ahead to, that we could reopen with takeout, which yeah. we were never, we never did takeout once. I think we did like three doggy bags in the past Seriously? 15 years. Like we never, like it's just not a takeout place, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So we had to pivot, How and that a was seafood tower. And a... yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and we we you know we, there's so many ideas and so many different yeah. things. And like uh, I started doing Zoom cooking classes where we would yeah. ship the ingredients and people, but it was complicated. And and then like w when you cook for a box, let's say, like it's like okay, you have uh, short ribs, mashed potatoes, and apple pie dessert. So you cook. So the cooking part's like, okay, this is cool. But then you put everything in a box and you ship it and you go home and you're like, ugh. It's like, it's not at all like a regular service or. No. So we started doing takeout on Uber and there's something kind of cool. Like, look, it's, you know, it was the apocalypse. So whatever, yeah. whatever we could do to stay alive. But, but the, the kind of the challenge there was, was a little bit more, you know, there was a challenge, but it was also fun because we were still doing service. It's just, we're not putting it on a plate, we're putting it in a bag, but at right. least the orders are coming in from a ticket. Yeah. You know, it's Uber, but it's still an order. So there's still a there's restaurant. Still, a sense of normalcy. Yeah, yeah. like, and, and so the music's playing, there's no clients, so we can like, you know, kind of say what we want. We're having fun. I was washing dishes like two, three nights a week. 
uh, you know, to help out because, you know, and I also, yeah, I was pretty good at, I'm pretty good at washing dishes. <laughs> Not just helping out, I'm just flexing a bit. Yeah. And uh, and then we opened when the summer hit. We said, you know what? We've got the Uber going. We're, we are we have like a window just like that, yeah. right on the street. So we said, put a counter, and we'll do like a seafood shack. Right. You know what I mean? So we kind of decorated, put a fridge, some beer, some wine. Uh, we were selling oysters to go, and people were like taking, you know, like a. It's a compostable dish full of ice, mm -hmm. dozen oysters. And people were just walking around, sitting in the park. And that, like when that hit with Uber was like, wait a minute, like it was great. Like it was, it was kind of like back to normal, if you will. Um, just challenging though for Chris, you know, obviously like just to re-pivot the whole thing. I, and at first was sort of, you know, I think we we're all kind of wishing for a mini recession in the restaurant business in Montreal because yeah. like five restaurants open up every week. Right. There's no need. Like we don't need to open five restaurants yeah. a week. Like I'm pretty sure like tacos have been done. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like yeah. how can they reopen the best taco place again? Yeah. Like every week, how is it the best new spot? Like, so I think like in our, because we've been open for like 16, 15, 16 years, we're seeing clients, like they come every two weeks. Oh, now a restaurant's open. Now we see them every two months because they're trying other places. Then they come back, they're like, oh, that place that we really like closed. So, oh, now we're getting them through. Now we're getting them a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So it was kind of like, a, you know, it is our business. And so there's competition everywhere. I, I'm okay with it. It's not a big deal, but it's like there was a time in Montreal where there's so many restaurants opening, it's just not viable. Yeah. You know, there's just not enough people to, so I think we were hoping for a little mini recession, right. maybe not this big, like the pandemic was a little much, if, if that was the answers yeah. to our, like we weren't really talking about it, but like, you know, where every, every week, especially now with social media and this, like, man, another place, another place, like, just like, you know, and like, what is it, penis pop or whatever, <laughs> like, like I'm not, it's not even a joke. It's like a donut shaped penis on a oh, stick. Oh no, I saw that. That oh, like, man. and there's like <laughs> mega lineups, you know, because you want that Instagram, you want that. But I'm like, you're like, and, and look, you're allowed. You could do whatever you want. Yeah. I'm just like, really? Yeah. Like best new restaurant, penis pop. Like it's not, there's no way it's the best new restaurant. <laughs> you know, yeah. the, the craziest new idea. Okay, perfect. A deep fried delight, I'll take it. But best new fucking restaurant yeah. when it's a window and you're selling fried dicks. Yeah. Like it, it's it's uh, it's it's like people work hard, man. Yeah. Like people work hard in restaurants, and then and then stuff dicks. like that. So that's what like it gets mixed in. It gets mixed in together, you know. It's like like what we do and what penis pops do is like they they're allowed to both exist but they're not the same. Right. You understand? Like there's Hooters and there's, yeah. you know, 11 Madison Park. Yes, they're both restaurants, but can you really compare them? You know what I mean? And that's, that's what happens with social media and the world today is like, it doesn't matter. Like you want to create content every day. So you gotta, what's the new spot? Oh, it's so good. It's it. But is it though? And then two weeks later it closes and it's like, you said that was the best. Nah, nah, nah. So, I think for us, like we've been there for a while now and we definitely, we're not on any list. Nobody wants to come and talk about us. We're never gonna be the new best whatever. We were 15 years ago, but that's before like anything. Right. Like, you know, like we were in like the newspapers. Like there was no, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so I think that the new, I think that kind of, like the pandemic with this, that it was a bit, um, it was a bit crazy, but now we're back to normal. You know, I think the hardest, the hardest thing right now is lack of staff and cost of goods. Yeah. And like restaurants are, are, we're buying, we're selling, we need staff, we need, you know, we're like encompass everything that's wrong with society in one little box. Yeah. So 
it's hard to manage that a little bit at this point. But the flip side is that people are so excited to go out. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've, we've got the double vaccination passport in Quebec since right. September 1st. A lot of people are excited because they feel safe, which is great. Yeah. Like instead of everybody thought, oh, it's going to be bad for business. It's been the complete opposite. Mm -hmm. It's like the people that don't like most people are vaccinated anyways. Right. So it's, it's been pretty good. Uh, you know, I, I can truly say we're really one of the lucky ones, even though we had a rough time and it yeah. wasn't the easiest. Uh, we kind of came out pretty good. And uh, and yeah, That's great. I don't want to jinx it, yeah. but things are, pretty, are, are looking pretty good. You know, we've, the restaurant is like socially distanced a bit. We've put up some stuff, but it looks, my partner did a really good job. Like it, it looks pro. It's not like plexi. It's like with all the same materials that we had in the restaurant, yeah. kind of. And I'm not sure we're going to get rid of it. It's well, maybe one wall because we're losing too many seats, but yeah. the rest of the stuff, it kind of feels cozy. You know what I mean? Like you can't put two tables together to make a 10, let's say. Yeah. So it's two tables of four. Yeah. So that kind of. These days are probably over yeah, for a while. Yeah. So I don't know. I, th I, f I find like it, it's had a, um, and it's had a positive effect too, like on certain things like washing hands and keeping clean and like just with my kids and not the restaurant. You know what I mean? Like. Obviously in kitchens, it was always a big thing to, but now it's like we've gone above and beyond. And so there's gonna be, you know, certain things like when you think about it, going to a hockey game when 21,000 people yelling, coughing, sneezing in like one big open space. Now that I think about it, I'm like, dude, it's crazy. that was disgusting, yeah. you know? So there's certain things now, I think like the hand sanitizing and the things that you do now, that maybe we do it in excess, I think it'll probably regulate and have, you know, some sort of a, uh, you know, think about it. Like when you're at a hockey game, like I always bring the hockey game thing into, cause like, hey, how are you? Hey, hey, touch this, touch that. Yeah. yeah. And, and like everywhere you look, it's like, it's germs. Yeah. Like now I can only like look at that, you know, yeah. like I took a plane to come here. It was yeah, the first weird. time in a long time. Like I, I was already a bit of that weirdo that like wiped down, but, but, uh, but yeah, it's 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 hyper aware. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, and, and as you heard, like Montreal was like mega lockdown. Yeah. It was like, so we we've went through the the gauntlet or whatever, and and I think it's it's looking up now. Yeah, things are looking good. It's great. It's, I don't want to take any more of time. I know you guys are busy. What so. time is it? Noon. We're done. We're. <laughs> are we going to be able to pull it off tonight? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's a confident yes. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you very much. No, Frank. thank you. Thank it. you. Yeah. I really appreciate you stopping by the shop and I hope everything goes well tonight at Pete's. That's nah, gonna be good. Right up. We did our, our short rib test yesterday. Like we brined, uh, we brined the short ribs for like, I don't know, five hours. And then I did a test without the brined ones, just like tossed them in the oven, like barely any salt and pepper. And they came out of the oven and everybody's like, oh, this is so good. So I'm like, we got this. You know, now they'll be brined, they'll be cooked properly. and. It's like the PI beef, man. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the, 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 I'm pretty sure I'm not getting the bottom of the barrel either. I'm getting the, the nice short ribs. Like mm -hmm. you can see their age, they're like so perfect. So, you know, you roast them slowly, a little bit of salt, you know, a little flavor, a little slow roasting with that fat. It's a, uh, whoa. Yeah. I thought you might like that for traveling around. Oh, so nice. from oh my god. Amazing. Thank you very much. I appreciate I, it. I am not worthy. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Beautiful. Right okay, now let me do some shopping. <laughs>